Hello everyone, I've come with a thousand splendid songs by Khaled Hosseini. On this book, Glamour writes, only the hardest hearts could fail to be moved. How? How a writer can grip the reader's hearts like that? When the writer is Khaled Hosseini, the answer is easy. He is said to have a Dickensian knack for storytelling. Now let's see what features make this book so special. The reader is able to feel the pain, terror, and grief of the characters through a very tangible imagery created by the writer. Khaled Hosseini tries to give a deep insight and understanding of emotions and feelings of his characters. His characters are so real. His book is a piece of uh, a work of fiction, but based on reality, the reality that Afghan people have undergone through the reign of Taliban. Let's say that this is a story of two women and very terrible happenings they encounter. So when we're talking about a book about Afghanistan, and our heroines are two women, so the main and foremost theme comes to our, to our mind is patriarchy, is gender oppression and sexual discrimination. The writer has depicted an environment, an atmosphere, where uh, men have absolute power and authority over women, and women are taken as a slaves, as nobody, as inferior sex. They have to be submissive while men are abusive. And men are supported by fund fundamentalism. They are supported by traditional, social, religious, fanatic convictions. So there is no escape, no runaway for women. Women have no say, women have no choice even for marriage. Our marriage laws are patriarchal. Next to it, marriage out of wedlock. Oh, this is quite notorious. This is horrible, out of question. But when it happens, when a rape takes place, the shame is all on the face of the woman. This is the woman who has to cast away. This is the woman who has to be cast away, who has to be uh, left alone to live in a desert, to be disowned by her own family, to be excommunicated by her own village, by her own people. But a woman actually can be somebody, can have can, can regard it as a human being only and only when she's able to bear a son. If she bears a daughter, no, she's not enough. She's, she's no good. Uh, we see that Khaled Hosseini is such a feminist. Khaled Hosseini is trying to give a voice to women whose voices have been silenced for decades, for many years. The next uh, theme I'd like to talk about is the theme of horror and war. The reader, uh, through the same imagery I told you uh, first, is feeling everything. Everything is so palpable. Everything is so tangible, so touchable. Afghan people have experienced very terrible, a miserable life through war and bloodshed, murder, authority corruption, governmental corruption, police corruption. And they have undergone so much misery. When you're reading Khaled Hosseini's book, especially A Thousand Splendid Sons, you are not at, you are not uh, separated. You are not uh, somebody, uh, I don't know, somebody out of the story. You're feeling it. You're feeling every individual. You're weeping 
and crying out of real grief. If this grief is not the grief of the character, you feel it for yourself. You take it. You can smell the gunpowder. You can see the smoke. You can see when um, houses shut down after bombardment. You feel the destruction and devastation. This is so huge. And you feel it on your heart. Very heavy. Uh, the next uh, theme is the theme of love and friendship. This is due to love. It's for the sake of love that uh, people, characters, let's say, are capable of sacrifice, of compassion. They forget and forgive. They, they just put away the jealousy and rivalry. They want to back each other up. They want to find a way to free them. They want to pursue freedom. They are hopeful just for the sake of love. Uh, next theme I'd like to talk about is a, a theme of loss. The loss that everybody is experiencing. Different source of loss. Just name it. Loss of property and position. Loss of dignity. Loss of innocence. And more importantly and more painfully, loss of loved ones. The last but not the least, I'd like to mention the theme of hope. Khaled Hosseini is such an optimistic writer who likes to see the future bright, who likes to see the future uh, beautiful. At the end of his story, he reunites the lovers and uh, everybody is actually uh, two main characters. Uh, one of the, let's say, one of the heroine is dead, sadly. The other one is back uh, along with uh, her lover. They are married and they can actually have their own family. They can actually restart with um, their daughter. And they are back to rebuild the home the country. This is beautiful when uh, Khaled Hosseini never ever fails to find light in the darkest corners. That's why I like his writing and his books. Uh, thank you very much. Thanks for having me. I'm finished.